it's finally time to record the video for the well the third part for the deep cool products now we had the matrix 70 case without rgb we had the castle 240 rgb and now we have the mf 120s triple fan configuration uh, yeah there we go so as you can see you can synchronize them very easily with the small controller. You can place it up on front if you want. You could uh, control it with uh, standard um, ports on the motherboard. And this is it. I mean, you could do whatever you wish. It's fairly simple. Uh, they have a slightly different design than the usual fans, as you might see here, right on the front right here sorry for the cables uh, i had to remove the case since i rerouted all the cables here at the back now the thing is they don't have that uh, classic surrounding around the propellers they only have four legs that go directly where you need to place these screws but in this case you have uh, some kind of a rubber pullings or something I don't know how to call them exactly in English but they are used mostly because uh, they dampen the vibration of the fans as you can see they don't have any protection around the propellers but basically you don't need it I mean it's it's inside the case so you don't need anything like that now when it comes to box it's a bit different than the past model you have it just like this so the thing is, these, these are the MF120S, you have um, the RPMs are from 500 to 2000 RPMs, so this is quite alright, I mean, the sound level, it's not that loud unless you push them up to the limits. Uh, with the LSP, so you have a special connector cable that has a capacitor inside and it goes from 400 to 1500 RPMs. So it kind of lowers the RPMs and by that it lowers the decibel uh, sound range as well. Uh, this one has, these are the all-in-one aluminum alloy frame. I forgot to mention that. And colorful 5 volts uh, addressable RGB lighting 3 fans with the controller. It's practically a very small controller and very, and very ha handy. As you can see you can easily change whatever you wish and how you wish this middle button is for the speed as you can see it slows down i mean it slows down so much that you could practically stop it but then again you have the uh, colorings what else you have the modes so you can practically manage everything that you wish Okay, so let's go next. Now, uh, the, the fan size is 120, 120 times 26 millimeters. Fan noise is up to 33 decibels and that is when it goes up to uh, 2000 RPMs. But if you use the LSP connector, then the uh, noise level drops uh, to, what does it say here, 26 decibels. So that's seven decibels, 500 RPMs lower, but uh, still, good enough uh, as for the LED type it's addressable RGB I mean you can see it has really nice colors and really nice effects when you use it and when you can I mean you can see it clearly from the camera now some of the key features that they mentioned here on the box it's aluminium alloy body so uh, it has those uh, five le uh, four legs that you tie them up to the chassis or to the case or whatever you want to call it uh, and the complete frame is going like four legs something like that uh, also uh, they mentioned uh, it has a synchronization uh, here as you can see the remote controller well it's not a remote controller it's a controller with um, you get a, you have a four splitter right here so basically I'm controlling the three fans and one on top you also have two layer blades so it has a standard layer and one beneath not beneath the full propeller but just at the bottom at the beginning uh, they're all PWMs so they are controllable very very easy uh, and cable controller as I said you have it right here so basically that's it guys I mean there's uh, nothing too much to talk about you can see the LEDs you heard 
Uh, the RPMs, the, these fan speeds right now are because I don't have the uh, operational system installed here uh, because I wanted to tear it down and to show you the fans right here on front. But there's another thing I want to show you and the thing is it's a GPU uh, holder so that the GPU doesn't sag. Uh, it's called the GH01 ARGB graphic card holder and the thing is it holds your graphic card from sagging uh, and it has an RGB inside so it's kind of cool you know it uh, does give a um, it does give a certain effect with all the RGB stuff and it's not even bad I mean it's not that that's going to you know be uh, right up in your face with all the RGB madness it, it has a nice subtle LEDs right here in the middle and I'll show you just a second you have a 3M sticker right here at the bottom so when you place it like this nothing will practically uh, happen if you glue it to your case and that could be a bit tricky if you tend to remove it but okay you also have another one here with also 3M uh, stickers so that's a double and what we got here you have some screws and you have the 3 pin connector for the uh, motherboard connection but we're going to do something different I'm going to shut the PC down and I'm going to connect this to one of the there we go So you can connect the uh, RGB GPU holder to one of your controllers that you have with the MF120S or the Castle uh, RGB. You could manage that without a problem. So let's go. There we go. As you can see, it uh, shines the same way uh, the fans shine, light up, whatever. And you can see here at the back the light here is really strong but when you turn it around it's as I said it's really subtle it's not something that will bother your eyes or something that you will want to cover up it's really nice and the design is really cool as for the part that uh, you actually use for your GPU holder this is it uh, you place it inside here so basically you take one screw that you get here from this you put this part it has a rubber top so it doesn't uh, damage your graphic card or anything similar to that if you had an idea it might damage your cards or something so you just tighten the screw here on the holder and you have this kind of I would say rib jaws you just place them here and it doesn't move if you want to change the size uh, or the height of the GPU holder you just switch it very easily there's no problem with it and as you can see it holds very nicely it doesn't have any problem and it looks cool it really does look cool I mean what else to say so guys this is it uh, sorry for the mess here we had the Deepcool MF120S ARGB fan so that's addressable RGB you get them three in a pack with the controller as you can see you can adjust anything oh is it you can adjust anything as you wish colors uh, modes uh, speed whatever I mean it's just simply cool and after all you can connect them to your motherboard and adjust them through the software that they support Aura Sync uh, RGB Fusion from Gigabyte they support MSI Mystic Lights and Asrock Polychrome Sync as well uh, next to that this was a bit of an addition to everything this was a bit of a surprise actually uh, for you guys I'm playing with lights and I'm calm focus on anything uh, okay stop uh, so yeah uh, we had a, a little bit of surprise a little bit of addition to the video we had the uh, deep cool gh1 gh01 actually a rgb graphic card holder which has i'm not going to repeat myself but it's really cool uh, it, it will definitely look really nice in your case if you decide to use it so guys thank you for watching this was another video for deep cool products uh, we had the matrix 70 we had the castle 240 rgb and uh, now we had the mf 120s and the gh01 ARGB graphic card holder everything from deep cool 
So guys, stay tuned, don't forget to check the links below where to buy all this stuff and definitely don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you next time guys, bye.